Mpenzi mtazamaji wakati unatazama movie nzuri na ya kupendeza kwanza ni kukumbushe kwamba kuna maswara ambayo umekuwa watu wakijiuliza wanasema kwamba mko msafiri kashakufa hapana mko msafiri yupo yuko hai kabisa ana afya njema na ya kuridhisha na pia anaendelea na utafsiri wa movie ni kama tunavyokuletea movie mpya mpya. Kwa hiyo movie hizo utakuwa unazipata mwendezo wake kupitia Grey Star Media, lakini usiache kutazama Grey Star Movie, yawezekana sehemu ya kwanza tukaanzia Grey Star Movie, lakini baadaye kadhaminiwa na Grey Star Media, tukaendeleza na utafsiri wa movie hizi. Karibu tuendelee kutazama movie nzuri na kupendeza mawasiliano yetu utayapata hapa hapa moja kwa moja namba 0766397343 kwa njia ya WhatsApp unaweza ukatucheki hapo. Picha hii inaanzia nyumbani kwa Mr. Donatus. Wakati mkewe amemwita rafiki yake Mwanamke aliyejua kama Mrs. AJ wanaomba. Katika usiku usiku alikuwa anarudi Mr. Donatus. Anaingiza gari lake. Katika maeneo ya nyumba. Kumbe ni usiku ule ule yule mkewe amemwita misezi ajai wako wanaomba anasikia sauti amepaki gari tu where is that sound coming from hizo sauti zinatoka wapi ziko ndani kuna mgeni kule ndani hata amini mr donatus anatembea kuingia ndani kumbe mkewe amemleta misezi ajai wanaomba anafungua tu mlango anakuta maombi yanaelea wanakemea kwa nguvu zote ashindwe shetani kwa jina la Yesu nani nani anapika kelele hapa chamani mmewamu what in the world is happening nauliza kitu gani kinachoendelea hapa are you deaf mmekuwa viziwi what is happening i i am nimemuita Mrs. Ajai tuombe na ifije Mungu wangu Unasemaje? Get out. Toka. Toka wewe sijui Mrs. Ajai. Toka. Unakuja hapa kuniletea mambo mambo ya kijiga. Usirudi hapa. Chamani unamfukuza mtu wa Mungu. The next time you turn my house into me. Church. Na kwambia mke wangu kigeuza nyumba yangu kuwa kanisa. Nitakumaliza. Nita Chamani mimi mi, mi, nilikuwa naomba. This thing you call whatever and tell it to us. Kwake nasema toa toa vitabu vyako hivi unavita vitabu vitakatifu ondoa. Ametishwa mkewe. Anaondoa vitabu vitakatifu Biblia. Jambo hilo limemkera kabisa. No. Mr. Donatus. Ujinga. No. Mwanamke anageuza nyumba yangu inakuwa kanisa. No. Huyu mwanamke huyu. No. Ana akili huyu. No. Ujinga. No. Nyumba yangu naifanya kanisa. Sasa hivi ni siku nyingine. So you put the girl down. You see? What you have a pillar? Wale watoto wawili chikwe na odeni walikuwa wamesafiri. Wametoka ndani ya jiji la Lagos. Wamekwenda kwa mwingi kijijini. Ni kule walikozaliwa. Wamemuita building contractor wanazungumza naye. Wanapanga jinsi ya kubadilisha mazingira pale. Hapa tunataka uwepo uwanja hapa. Alafu tuweke swimming pool. Unajua jinsi utakavyofanya. Alafu unakata hii nyumba kabisa unaiondoa. Once I make this survey on the plans ready. Mimi nafikiri tutaangalia kabisa ramani. Nyumba tunaopaswa kujenga ni kubwa. Pale pale. Anakuja msichana huyu shangazia onkechi alaha alaha mrusu mrusu amerusi wankechi anapita my brothers jamani ndugu zangu wa mjambo how are they now abarigani still remember the way to our house 
How can you say that? Unakumbuka kuja hapa? Jamani kwa nini unasema hivyo? Hivi wewe. Kaiyo. Mimi na nawasikia siku zote. Good morning. I'm not saying that you never go away pesa jamani. Oh, that's nice. You decided to come and take your own. Umekuja kuchukua pesa zako wewe? Auntie Nkechi. Have you forgotten? Shangazi Nkechi umesahau. Did it was at the market. Ulivyo tufukuza pale soko. Now. Eh? Jamani kwani unazungumza hayo? The time we were begging for money to help our father. Si kuli tulikuwa tunaomba pesa kumsaidia baba. The, the hotel. Na wewe tulikwambia? Oh, please. Tafadhali. Now, eh? Jamani mnisaidie. In the hospital, so, eh? Mama yuko hospitalini amelazwa. I need some money to take uh, care of her. Please. Na nataka kum nipe pesa jamani nimsaidie mama. And we are busy. Sisi tuna shughuli. To help our father. Tulitaka kumsaidia baba yetu. And you didn't. Wewe hukukubali. Ngojo. Ukatusema neno machafu mpaka tukakimbia. Oh, we say hapo. Ah, mwana. Chuke sia. But let me tell you. Unaona kama dunia hii inazunguka. Si. Be kind to the person you meet on your way up because you may meet the person again on your way down. Hujui mtu utakayemkuta juu. Wewe ukiwa juu, hujui ndani utamkuta chini. Yeah, yeah. Mpe pesa bwana. Mpe pesa, nenda uchukue pale 200. So, Ameagizwa mlizi. Like you are saying, eh? Make sure you. Ampe shangazi nkechi 200. Like <laughs> Sasa unaona tujenge. Eh yeah, wende ulete ramani yako. Jamani asante. Asante. Ameshukuru ameshukuru shangazi nkechi. Ameondoka. Sasa hivi tunaporudi nyumbani. Kwa Mr. Donato. The grand demolished in the village. I start a new world. I would have gone back to the village by now. Except <laughs> lucky. And bless God. Mama yake Donato alikuwa amekwenda. Amemtembelea mama wawili. Ni goya kan nenye kile. Jamaa nashukuru Mwenyezi Mungu. Him I give all praises and adoration. Jamaa nimebariki wana. Nyumba hii nzuri. To my sister. Wanangu wamejenga. The clothes you wore on that modern Sunday. Jamaa ni naomba unisaidie ile nguo ulikuwa umefaa siku ile ya Jumapili. Aha, unasema ile nguo. I made it in the village. Nili nili sonea kule kijijini. Who made it? Nani alikushonea? You know Angeleka. Si yule Andoleka. The one by uh, uh, Catholic Church uh, Junction. Yule jirani na kanisa. Wait, wait. Ngoja, ngoja. Mimi Angoleka made that clothes. Yule Andoleka ndiye alikushonea ile nguo. Hi. Oh jamani. These are village women. They have started being creative. Kumbe, wanawake kijijini wameanza wameanza kushona nguo namna hiyo. It's across to me. Eh? So I chama na, naomba unipe ile nguo. They are here to make exactly same style for me. Nataka nitengeneze style kama ya kwako. Okay, I would. Unipe, nipeleke kwa phone. I trust you. <laughs> na kuamini nitakupa ile nguo. My phone is ringing. Nasikia simu yangu inaita. Angaza. Ngoja mm. nipoke. <laughs> Angaza. <laughs> Anaondoka mama wili. Anakwenda kupokea simu. <laughs> Amemwacha mama yake Donatus. This is getting serious. Sasa hivi tunaporudi upande wa shule. Do you know that uh, Wale marafiki zake Rose na Sandra I... waliopotea kipindi kirefu sini again. Hmm. Rose said she was going to see a friend. Which of her friends do you even know? Friend. Aliondoka Rose akasema anakwenda kumuona rafiki yake. I know to have a friend. Sijui kwa nini. Has a boutique. Kwa nini hajarudi wala hata nikipiga simu yake hapatikani. The other one drives a red a red car. Kuna rafiki yao mmoja yeye anaendesha gari jekundu. So we have to know where they really are. Yeah. Mimi nataka niende ni twende tu, tuulize ni wapi walipo. Kwa sababu alikuja hapa na gari akawachukua. Ni wasichana wenzao. Rose na Sandra. Wanajiuliza hawa wao ni Rose na Sandra. Sasa hivi walikwenda moja kwa moja hadi katika nyumba ya Sacha. Wakabisha hodi. Msana huyu Sacha ndiye aliyewachukua Rose na Sandra. Anatokea kwa nje. Yes. Ni wasaidie wasaidi nini? I'm fine. Sasha we are looking for my roommates. Tunawatafuta Wasichana tulikuwa tunakaa nao. Rose and Linda. Unasema Rose na Sandra. We came to check if they drop by your house or maybe. Tunataka kujua wako wapi kwa sababu tulikuwa na nao kwenye gari siku moja. Then, I've been quite busy traveling out of town. Mimi nilikuwa sipo nilikuwa nje ya mji. 
call their lines. That we've been trying their lines now. None is going through. In your car. In my car. I don't understand what you are getting. You came to my house to ask me of Rose and Sandra. You have not set my eyes. Are you trying to say? Please get out. Talk, Miss, they were on a rose in a sun. Then get the hell out of my house! Get the hell out of my house! I'm a funga. I'm a funga mlango. I'm a sana uyusacha. How are Rafikiza? Rafikiza or rose in a sun? I'm a talk. How are you doing? What are you doing? Rose in a sun. Sasa hivi tunaporudi kwa Mr. Donatus mkewa alikuwa anatoka. Donatus na yeye anaingia. Oh where is she going dressed like? Unakwenda wapi mke wako mbona umevaa vizuri? I'm going to fellowship. Nakwenda kwenye maubiri. The time to seek God's face. Nataka kuomba Mwenyezi Mungu atusaidie jamani tupate watoto. Aha, mke wako. Your food is ready. Chakula kiko tayari. They made we dish it out for you. Look at your mouth. Is the maid we serve my food? Wait a minute. Tell me. Does your Bible teach you about being submissive to your husband? Right, I guess. So, in there. I think. Simple. <sighs> mm -hmm. Mr. Donatus, Sasa hivi ni siku nyingine. Watoto hawa Odenta na Chikwe walikuwa ameitwa kwa yule baba Danga. Baba Danga kiongozi wa shirikina amewaita. Na furahi. Gezazu. Tumekuja hapa. Really and indeed. Great. Tunashukuru mzimu wako wa Zazu na Saketa. The car gift we sent you. Tumeku tulikuletea gari. Ulipata hili hiyo zawadi. That must have cost a fortune. Zawadi ni nzuri. Naona ilitumia karama kubwa. Thank you. You are something. I was in cosmic contact. Nili watumia ujumbe ili mje. Zazu. Kwa sababu Zazu. The great god of wealth. And because of your commitment kwa sababu faithfulness ule mzimu wetu wa sakenta the great one has requested umenambia unataka kitu fulani kutoka kwenu sacrifice from you sacrifice dasema tutoe kafara nyingine ndio you love most ya mother umesema unataka mama yenu unasema je mama this ndio will be the cup of your sacrifices ndio itakuwa ni mwisho wa kutoa kafara don't sacrifice mkiulizisha mkatoa mama yenu kwa mzimu wa zazu na sakenta ndiyo utakuwa ni mwisho watoto wamechanganyikiwa zaidi hodenta na chikwe hawaamini kabisa maneno waliyosikia anatoa huyu baba danga kiongozi wa shirikina kwamba mzimu wa sakenta na zazu unataka kafara jingine kafara la mama yao 
wamerudi nyumbani wamechanganyikiwa kabisa wanajiuliza maswali mengi lakini jibu halipatikani wanashindwa kuingia hata ndani ni miezi michache tu wamemtoa baba yao i just don't understand mimi sielewi don't did not explain all this at all kwani donato sa kutuambia hivi pale pale mama yao anakuja jamani merudi wana wanakaa kimya jamani wana who call is where mko salama jamani do you know what mnajua i prepared your favorite meals nimewaandalia chakula kizuri hamkuja mchana kula webusi nimewaandalia chakula kizuri mje mkile hapa chacharamaka msie ya nimewaandalia chakula cha kienyeji kile tunachokula kule kijijini watoto wanakaa kimya why are you not saying anything jamani mbona amnijibu wana madam queen sasa hivi tunaporudi kwa mkewe donatus alikuwa amekwenda the devil is a liar amekwenda kwa padre jesus jamani uniambie i brought to shaka ndalaba sasa ngoja nikwambie shetani atashindwa tu kwa jina la yesu while i was praying god revealed to me that your husband nilipokuwa na sai very powerful demonic king nimegundua kwamba mume wake ana pesa pesa za kishirikina jesus kweli kabisa kwa jina la yesu na kueleza ndalaba wa bodi ingala mewaka amejiingiza katika kikosi cha washirikina it's something ngoja nikwambie your husband has made a very serious impact to the devil a... mewako amefanya mawasiliano mabaya kabisa na shetani and as long as you remain barren na wewe utakaa hivyo hivyo bila kupata mtoto husband grow rich and flourish every day na pesa za mewe mewako zitakuwa zinaongezeka kila siku bora umekuja hapa kanisani the god i serve mungu naye mtumikia atakusaidia tu atakuachia uhuru Amina. Asante. Father in the name of Jesus. Tuombe sasa. Baba kwa jina la Yesu. Adusha kandala ba. Namombea mama huyu. Lady. Umfungue katika mikono mizito ya shetani. Kandala ba my body. Ili awe salama. Lebra. Aweze kupata mimi. Allahe bele. Aweze kujizalia watoto. Radu zeli bro dalalala. Alizidi kwa mtukaji huyu. Anamombea. So ya I've been waiting for you ritual list that. Sasa hivi alipofika nyumbani alikuwa anamsubiri mume wake kwa hapo. Anakuja mume. Why do you know something is wrong? Unanambia unaniuliza kuna tatizo gani? God has exposed your evil deeds. Wewe nimekwenda kwa mtu gani? Amenambia kila kitu. Wewe ni mbaya kabisa. Ushetani ulioleta ndani ya nyumba hauwezi kuvumilika. 2016. Thou shall not be. A... Jamani mke wangu bora nakupenda sana. Witness against thy neighbor. And that is what you Kitabu kitakatifu kinasema David God unasema shetani You think I don't know you Unafiki sikujua Na kujua na kujua na kujua vizuri You know what I mean Huwezi kwenda popote usubiri ni kwambie You want me to die an old man Unataka nife nife na uzee wangu Tetano Tete Ah huyo ni shetani Mke wangu Huyo ni shetani amekuingilia Which one is Unasemaje? Eh, eh, no problem, hit me. Nipige, nipige. Si. You are used to it. Nasema nipige. But let me tell you something. Ngoja nikwambie. You even do we go unpunished. Nasema mambo unayofanya yatakurudia tu. Nah. How did you wake up today? Umeamkaje mke wangu? Wait, let me ask you. Ngoja nikuulize. Why were you? Ukule kule uliko toka mbona umeacha kile kitu? Kumbe alikuwa ni ujanja wake akakimbia. Akakimbia. Mbio mbio. Alipotoka pale alikuwa na moja kwa moja kwa huyu baba danga yule kiongozi wa washirikina you know, you know, so mimi nimechanganyikiwa just got into her no way mke wako usinieleze habari za mke wako hakuna analojua desperate for it try 
anakuambia mke wako akianza kuleta maneno hayo ya kuleta she knows all my secrets anajua kila kitu anajua siri zote it was in one like that drove me away that's amenaambia kabisa kila kitu kitu si juu ya mikwele eti kwa mchungaji kila no. sasa nenda muue oh kima wanda eh, unasema ni, ni muue mke wako yeah. unasema nenda muue yeah. usipomuua mambo yako yataharibika kama ameisha jua habari zako wende okay. muue wewe uko ni bario Hapana, siwezi kumuua. Nampenda sana mke wangu. Hapana. Kumuua mke wangu. Siku ile Mr. Donatus alishindwa kurudi. Akarudi majira ya usiku kabisa, usiku wa manani. Walinzi wakamfungulia mlango. Akaingia moja kwa moja nani ya nyumba. Anategemea kabisa kwamba mkewe Mrs. Donatus atakuwemo. Anaangalia juu ghorofani. Anasikia nyumba iko kimya. Bado hajamuona mkewe. Maswali ni mengi kabisa. Anajiuliza mkewe atamueleza nini? Aliondoka pale kwa kukimbia kabisa. Naye anampenda sana mkewe. Alijiuliza maswali mengi. Jibu halipati. Tukumbuke ni usiku wa manane. Lakini amerudi. amekaa kipindi kirefu aliwaita walinzi code security map nenda nitie mlinzi yule mlinzi wa pale gaitini ametoka nje anakwenda kumuita mlinzi wa pale gaitini mlinzi wakati huo alikuwa anacheza muziki the boss wants to see you kuna mzee anakuita huko anataka kuone. Mlinzi huyo anakimbia kwenda kumuona Mr. Donatus. <laughs> Ni mlinzi wa gate ile. Where is my wife? Eh, mke wangu yuko wapi? Ametoka. Ha, unaona? Yes, Amekwenda na gari. Gari dogo lile analolitumia. Bas, ondoka nenda. Mr. Donatus, anazidi kuchanganyikiwa. Mke wake vipi? Kwa nini ameondoka? Anajaribu kupiga simu kumtafuta mkewe. Amuulize ni wapi alipo. Mr. Donatus, anapiga simu lakini simu yake haipatikani. Sasa hivi kumbe mkewe alikuwa amekwenda kwa yule mwanamke. Mwanamke Mrs. Ajai aliyekuwa naomba naye. Ziku wa manane anafika. Ameteremka kwenye gari. Anaingia ndani ya nyumba. Mrs. Ajai amempokea. <laughs> Njamani. Mme wangu sijui kwa nini amekufukuza. Na mimi nimeona nisijaribu nisi, nisi kufanya lolote. Nilipokuja okay. nikamueleza nilipokwenda kwa mchungaji. Okay. Stop crying. Njamani usilie. Happy. <laughs> you should. You're bas, usilie. It's a life. Most people won't be as lucky as you. Watu wengine wana matatizo kama wewe. Hey. Is the laws doing that you are alive? I should be glad. Okay? Na kuomba vumilia. Be strong. Tutakwenda kwa mchungaji atakuombea tu. Tafadhali. Okay? Tafadhali usilie naomba usilie. Bora umekuja hapa. Mimi nimekupokea ngoja. 
ukoja nikupeleke chumbani uoge ulale jamaa nikupe na chakula ule sasa hivi tunaporudi kwa wasichana wale Rose na Sandra wale rafiki za walikuwa amekwenda mmoja kati yao amekwenda nyumbani kwa mamake na Sandra yes oh mama you remembered me too jamani umenikumbuka umekuja you married no mama eh jamani hujaolewa ndine nadi mama i forgot i'm still studying mimi bado nasoma mama rose your friend hey vipi rose na sandra hawajama online but online is not connected nimepiga simu simu yao siwapate si wako wapi hata sisi mimi nikuja kuangalia hapa No, Mungu wangu. No. Hawako kule shuleni. School for days now and ni masiku hawapo shuleni. If she she came home. Tulifikiri amekuja nyumbani. Jamani, mwanangu. Mwanangu jamani. Sasa hivi tunaporudi kwa Chikwe na Odenta, walikuwa wamerudi. Wamekwenda moja kwa moja kwa baba Danga. Unajua mzee Danga. It's a blow that will hurt us tumefikiria tukaona hatuwezi kumtoa mama kafana tumekuja kwako i feel your pain mimi nafikiri mna jambo fulani la kunieleza but sasa lakini mzimu wangu wa sasu god of wealth has spoken umesha sema kwamba namhitaji damu ya mama yeye and i can not intercede siwezi kuingilia siwezi kuzuia oh, okay sawa sasa tunapiga magoti mbele yako 100% tafadhali ubembeleze mzimu wa Zazu yes we provide 100 deaths tutatoa watu wengine tofauti na mama try to bribe Zazu the great coach msiniambie kwamba nirudi kwa Zazu mimi and listen hawezi kukubali the coating is drawing down akisha sema amemaliza wanazidi kuchanganyikisha yes. Oh. Your days on earth drops. Mtoe mama yenu la sivyo siku zenu zitakuwa zimekwisha. Sasa hivi wamerudi nyumbani. Walikuwa na bishana watoto hawa. Odenta na Chikwe. Mimi sikutaka kufanya mambo haya. Kwa nini ulikubali? Kwa nini ulikubali? Pesa zote tunazotumia zinatoka. Umesahau? Chikwe. Chikwe jamani. Na Odenta mnafanya nini? Mbona mnabishana? Ni mama yao mzazi. Mama wawili. What is wrong? Kuna tatizo gani jamani wanangu? I heard your voices. Nimesikia sauti kama mnabishana. Hapana mama. Okay, if you say so kama mnasema hivyo basi yeah. jamani wana right. mimi ngoja nifanye shughuli zangu kule juu bado watoto hawa chikwe na odenta wanajiuliza maswali mengi tufanyeje sasa sasa hivi wakiwa ndani chikwe alikuwa anamuita odenta odenta njojojojo anakimbia Mambo yamezidi kuwa machafu. Wanajiuliza wafanye nini? Tunaporudi sasa kwa yule msichana Sacha aliyekuwa anadaiwa wale wasichana Rose na Sandra. Sasa hivi amehisi kwamba hali inaweza ikawa mbaya. Nikaonekana akusanye vyake vichache. Akimbia toke toka toka ndani ya nyumba ile. Waliko wai kuja kum, kumuona wale wasichana waliokuja kumtafuta Sandra na Rose. Akatoka nje, akachukua gari lake jekundu, akapakia kila kitu. Amemuita mlinzi. Tafadhali nifungulie mlango nitoke. Mtu yote akija hapa kuniulizia sema nimesafiri. Fungua mlango. Mlinzi huyu. Ametumwa afungue gate. Sacha imembidi aondoke Kumbe ni majira ya jioni 
Walikuwa amekuja rafiki zake rafiki zao Sandra na Sa na Rozi wamekuja na polisi. What's your name? Jina lako ni nani? Mimi jina langu ni 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 ni, ni Karume. Sasa Karume tunakupeleka. Jamani mimi ni Gatemani. Hakuna twende na wewe. Mpaka uwaonyeshe wale watoto wetu. Rozi na Sandra wapatikana. La sivyo muonyeshe Satari. Wamekamatwa? Amekamatwa. Anawekwa chini ya ulinzi. Huyo mlinzi. Sasa hivi Jambo la ajabu limejitokeza. Wale watoto wawili. Odenta na Chikwe. Walikuwa wamechukua nguo. Wamekwenda moja kwa moja. Kwa yule baba Danga. Kiongozi wa mzimu wa Zazu na Sakenta. Wanakwenda kutoa kafara. Wamekubali kabisa kwa mama yao afi. Baba Danga kiongozi wa washirikina alikuwa anatoa lile kafara Bring the lamp Sasa naomba mtoe ile nguo mloleta Wanakwenda maskini na nguo ile kwa machungu kabisa Rose na Wauma wanaitumbukiza ndani ya chungu wanajua mama yao sasa hivi kiongozi huyo wa shirikina danga alianza kuita mzimu wa sakenta sakenta zazu sasa hivi walifanya ibada ile wakamaliza sasa hivi wamerudi nyumbani walikuwa wanawaza jamani unaepa na mtulie jamani mwenyezi mungu ndiye amemuondoa mama yetu just like i told you earlier kama nilivyowaambia mwanzoni dakna ibari ni jambo la ajabu kabisa mana ito ya imagine ni mambo ya mwenyezi Mungu tu and this is the only way you must obey mfanye mipango namna ya kwenda kumzika mama take your heart eh? just take... naomba mvumilie mvumilie this is what every man passes through in haya ndio mambo tunayopitia wanaume <laughs> Like you don't to see. But these things were never, never, ever explained to us properly. This is to the to the to the this thing properly. Baba, yet to music. To me, funny matanga ya kwanua ma kifo chababa. Sasa saivi. As if that was not enough. Now we have used our mouth. Sasa saivi to nam to me, mama yet to na ya mekufa. Been cheated twice. All for money. Malambiri was as well to mekufa. Just. And why are you cheating? Jamani tuli. Pio. Echo. Ni mambo ya kawaida Jamani. I think no you guys we've had a long day. Twende juu tuangalie mama amekufanya. Tumuandae kesho tuwatangazie watu. Ni mambo ya kawaida. My children. Wakiupo bali wanashangaa.